At Doceri Clinics, I do all my injections uh, with some form of guidance. If I'm injecting soft tissue, I will use ultrasound. If I'm doing either the skeleton or the spine or joints, if I want something where I really need to see the bones, then I'll use fluoroscopy, which is motion x-ray. I've been doing ultrasound since 2006, and it's a wonderful tool. Most people think of ultrasound to see the baby, to determine the gender of the baby, but um, it's actually wonderful for uh, evaluating musculoskeletal conditions and then also for needle placement. This is an image of a rotator cuff. You know, we hear about a rotator cuff tear. Most often when you say a ro rotator cuff tear, the rotator cuff compri is comprised of five muscles and the supraspinatus is the one that's most often injured. And this is a view, a great view of the supraspinatus. You can see this is bone, this is the humerus, and then this thing that we call it, it looks like a parrot's beak, that's the, that's the supraspinatus, that's the, that's the rotator cuff. And when you have a tear, this person does not have a tear, but if you were to have a tear, sometimes it would look at the, it would be at the end where the parrot's beak would be blunted. Sometimes you can see a tear right down through the center, a transverse tear. Sometimes it's a linear tear. Uh, ultrasound is, uh, everybody thinks of MRI in this country as the gold standard for evaluating soft tissue, but ultrasound in the rest of the world is really the gold standard for many t uh, structures. You can't see down inside the joint, so if it's like the labrum of the shoulder or, uh, or, or of the hip, you know, the inside surface, the soft tissue lining of the socket portion of the ball and socket joint, you can't see that but uh, something that's outside the joint you can see. And I use my ultrasound every day, it's a wonderful tool.